Hello everyone and welcome to Salesforce Atlas. My name is Larissa if you're new to the channel and uh, in today's episode I would like to discuss with you letterheads and how to use them when you're creating email templates in Salesforce. I came across a trick. You can't actually use enhanced letterheads if you are also going to use email template builder. It doesn't work this way. And uh, if you want to attach an image or a logo in your letterhead, there is another trick. I'm going to show this to you just in a few seconds. Right, as always, I'm in on my trailhead playgrounds. I'm just going to use some some fake information, fake data in this environment, and I'm in my home tab. Now, the trick that I'm talking about, and just in a few seconds, I'm going to show you what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to achieve. I'm going to to our email templates. And one of the requests that, that came up in one of the comments was about using the enhanced letterhead uh, in addition to email email template builder. So if you have enabled the function uh, for the new email template builder, you know that you can, with the edit button, it will redirect you to the builder and there you can use the new components, standard components, and you can decide as well about the layout, how you want to build your email template and how it's going to look like. I used the original one, I have removed the orange, um, blocks on, on each side and as you can see it's, it's exactly the same as in one one of the previous videos that I recorded now I'm going to go back and if I'm going to show this to you if I'm going to use one of my test letterheads and I'm going to save it it won't actually allow me to save enhanced letterhead just because I have started using my email template builder, uh, the checkbox has been ticked. It means that that's what I'm using and it contradicts with how they have created. Maybe this is going to change in the near future. But right now, if you are creating emails uh, in the email template builder, you can't add any enhanced letterheads, which is fine. Um, for that reason, they have created a separate styling in the builder to create and add your logo. And again, maybe this is going to change, but still I'm going to cover in the video, the enhanced letterhead and um, creating a, an email with, with the enhanced letterhead. Let's just go and I'm going to show this to you in a few seconds. Now I'm gonna go to the enhanced letterheads. In the enhanced letterheads, Yes, I'm going to leave. I tested something in here yesterday and I'm going to go and create completely new letterhead. And all right, I'm going to name it test two. And this is it. You have a header and you have a footer in your letterhead. Now, Logically, usually you want to add your company's logo to the header and in the footer, you want to add email address, phone number, some contact details. So you don't have to duplicate this in all of your emails. So you can, you know that it is right there and uh, it will stay in the letterhead, same as with the logo. And uh, let me just go and all right, let me just go and save this or I can I can add my all right, let me just go and save one of my logos. Now it's going to be this one here. I'm going to resize it. And I'm going to leave it in the middle. That's good. And for the footer, I'm going to write um, just some example, let's say it's a digital signature. Salesforce, Salesforce Tutor. All right, so this is just some example and I'm going to leave it right here. And Old. 
and italic all right sure why not let's save this and this should be a footer yeah all right this is just an example and the next thing um, you would like to add your new enhanced letterhead to a new email now i'm going to create a new new email template and let's just call it um save it i don't really need to select anything i want to select the public folder so it is publicly accessible and shared with with everyone subject is going to be opportunity closed one and i'm going to use the same trigger so when the opportunity is closed one it is going to fire this email that's why for the subject subject line i want to keep the same uh, the same label and now i can add an enhanced letterhead i can use my test to the one that i created just now in this previous step and i'm going to save it and as you can see it actually let me save the new enhanced letterhead because I have an enabled email template builder. As you can see, I don't have a button here that would redirect me to the email template builder. That's how it works. Unfortunately, you can't use enhanced letterhead if you're also using the um, email template builder. So it is, in a way, it is more of a Salesforce classic email template, even though it is in Lightning, you're not doing it in the back end, I'm still doing it in the front end. That's the main difference. Now I have created my email template. And the next thing I would like to make sure that this logo shows up in, in the email. And in setup, I'm going to use one of my old triggers. It is in workflow. And I haven't actually changed the email template. Now, that's another thing that I need to do. I need to, in my workflow rule, I have only one opportunity closed one. I'm going to open it. And I used it in one of my previous videos. There is an email alert. I have already set up everything. You can, again, you can just view one of my other episodes about this so i'm not going to go into detail but i am going to change the email template that it is going to fire fire now and salesforce atlas test i created it just now and i'm going to save it all right so i have exchanged the email template and now i can I can show you how it works if I trigger this email. I'm going to change the sta stage to closed one. And I'm going to show you as well. I have here another tab with my email open. And I'm just going to check if I have received it. Right. It is right here. And yeah, actually, it is showing me that. It has as well my Salesforce Atlas image. So everything is in here, it's showing, uh, which is very interesting because I was testing yesterday and it didn't appear right away. Um, I'm going to show you quickly what to do in case you are not, uh, you are not receiving the image or it is not um, downloading by default because there are some email servers that block it and you can open the logo in the new tab. However, it is always nice to see the company logo in the same email. Now, another trick, so if you don't see logo in the email, then as well, try this out, follow these steps. Now I'm going to open, I'm going to open Salesforce Classic. And as you can see, the beautiful <laughs> UI, uh, what I'm going to find in here is documents. All right, I just need to find it here. 
documents. And there is something I created yesterday, logo. And create, create a new document. And let's call it logo two. And you can, well, you can either indicate that the document is internal or you can also check this checkbox and show that it is externally available. So I'm going to upload an image and I want this image, this logo to be externally available to everyone. And yes, you can keep it in the same folder. You don't really have to add any description or keywords unless you wanted to. And I'm going to choose a file. You want to select a correct file size. And as you test it, you'll see if it loads or if it does not loading and then click save button. And what you get, so we have an image in here and you can inspect the image. So you want to, if you're going to amend, if you're going to amend the source code or the image, then all you need to do is to find the image and it is right here and copy, just copy, copy a link address. And then you can, you can change the alt name in case your logo is not showing up in the email, alt name will be provided in, instead. I'm going to call it Salesforce Atlas logo, and I'm going to replace this source source code right here. All right, and it works. You replace the source code, and it is right here. And again, we can test it. So let's go and let's test it again. I'm going back to my opportunity. Again, back to closed one. And in a minute, I should receive an email. All right, so there's another email. And you can see it is again, it is the same logo that I used previously. Let's see if it works for you. Um, I really hope that this video made sense and you can clearly see the difference between using enhanced letterhead and using email template builder. Thanks a lot for suggesting this topic. It was again a very interesting one and uh, feel free to suggest any more topics in the comment section below. I'm always open to new ideas, validation rules or processes. Just let me know and have a nice day everyone. See you again. Bye.